Good evening all. Today I'm going to be programming the new TID Radio or TID Radio H3 Ham version, which is extremely easy, um, considering it is seems to be supported by Chafe almost as soon as it was released. Um, so this may have been TID Radio reaching out to Chirp and giving them the information that they need. But either way, it is supported by Chirp, which makes life a lot easier. Um, so you don't have to use the Bluetooth function and you don't have to use the OD Master software. However, which I'll go over, over in another video, using them together helps you... Use them together, it'll help you sort of migrate some of the other settings you have from one radio to this one and backwards and forwards um, but anyway straight on to it so uh, as always I've downloaded the new version of Chirp as of today the 20, uh, 31st of January so let's fire it up okay we've got Chirp, radio and download and we're getting ready here so let's get the radio turned on welcome Okay, and plug in the programming cable. Okay. Right now, my radio is already pre programmed with all the channels I want to use in it. Um, those of you with a few sharp eyes might notice a few things in this and may ask questions, so uh, whatever. I will be doing another, another video on those odd settings that uh, you might see here and there in my programming. Okay, so it's on COM port 3, um, my CH340 as usual, TID radio, and it's the TDH3 ham. Okay, so let's uh, click OK, and it's now reading it. Okay, here we go. So, uh, as you can see, I've got um, various channels in here. Some miscellaneous ones which I've been playing around with. Um, usually these ones, the V's or the V7's or the VA7's are usually the ones I'm usually in that area because they're all the Vancouver ones or British Columbia. Um, then you've got the FRS's, the GMRS and various other ones in there. Okay, so if you go into settings and chip, you can see all the different settings you've got. Um, yep, yeah. you can see there's the Roger. Some people like that, some people don't, whatever. Uh, channel only mode. I believe that will not let you go into VFO, although, little tips and tricks video I'll do on this um, on this radio at a later date. You've got the kill and stun. Uh, I haven't turned those off for obvious, re obvious reasons for now. Um, then you've got the AB settings, uh, FM, which you see I've got one program there and it's got a forbid to receive so if you take that I'm guessing that the radio will not work sorry the broadcast radio will not work uh, and as the DTMF so first of all I have set for this video I've set my light as you can see it's not turning off I basically set it to continuous um, what else have we got uh, all right okay well what I'll do is, is a very simple one. Let's uh, program it with a five second light and send that to the radio. And away it goes. Okay, so what should happen now is when the radio reboots itself, just there, it's done it, it does it really quickly actually. Um, let's see, oh, there we go. So the light goes off after five seconds. So let's click on here again, let's put it back to continuous, and let's upload that, and again, there we go. So, once it's finished uploading, the light should come back on, and it should stay on. So, now then, that's interesting, it didn't. So let's go back to, oh, that's weird. I've not saved that properly. Okay, let's try again. Continuous. Is that... Okay, it's true. I'm not too sure what I did wrong there. So continuous. 
Okay, so let's upload that to the radio. Let's try again. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I did wrong there. I'll probably have to look through the video and do it, but I try not to edit out my mistakes and stuff like that, just just in case you come across them. Um, it also shows you that I'm, I'm, I'm only human. Um, right, okay, so let's go back to the memories function. Now, some of the ones which I don't bother with, uh, these top view here. So let's put this radio on channel 1. So, so we're on 001. As you see, the frequency comes in at the top here. Channel 1, and this is channel 1 underneath there. Let's see if I can tighten that up a bit. Okay, and it's WH, sorry, WTHR3. And that's what it's currently set up at. So this is what I'm going to play with. So let's go into here. Let's call it, I don't know. Uh, right, yes, that's right. Okay, this is one of the ones I've been playing with. Um, let's go into a channel which doesn't exist. Yeah, let's just call it test channel and um, we'll just leave it at that so we want channel 45 so if I type 0 4 5 it doesn't exist so please it straight back to the channel you were on so let's say uh, let's just upload oops let's just upload that to the radio and we need to go to channel 45 once it's finished so upload to radio okay Okay, so let's go to channel 45. Right. Oops. That's my bit of paper just to try and make this look read easier. So as you can see, it's uh, now we've got a channel in there called Test Chat. Guessing that's as much as it can put in. Um, and it's on the 147.520 channel uh, frequency, which is exactly what we did here. So as you can see it's pretty simple it works in chip so it makes life so much easier now as I'm scrolling up and down here probably some of you have noticed that these weird offsets and uh, there's more weird offsets here I'm not exactly sure how this happened or where they came from but it's something to do yeah I don't know I don't know whether it was chip put them there or if there's an OD master, or whether there's been a glitch in between. But these these are FRS, these are GMRS. And as you know, or you may not know, there are two different versions of this radio. There is the, H, uh, the H3 HAM and the H3 GMRS. Now on this one so far, if I enter a GMRS, GMRS, or an FRS uh, frequency, it will not let me do it. So watch. I, I'll, I'll do. I'll go into the the more details of this in another video. I'm going to do another video. I don't. I haven't really budgeted time to do this tonight. So if I was to copy that that frequency, right, and I try and put it into 120. So memory slot 120, and I click off. It will not let me save it. Right. So if I pick, let's just say, GMR, GMRS um, frequency number one, which is a uh, 462.5625. So if I copy this and I paste that into here, it doesn't let me do it. So how did I do it in the first place? How did I get these there in the first place? Well, use a combination of a couple of things it's anyway okay i'm getting too far into it now let's just say you can program this radio using chip um on the tid radio td h3 ham so you can quite easily quite easily program it 
Um, you've got the other ways, which you can do it via the handset. A bit fiddly, to be honest. You can do it via Bluetooth, um, directly from your phone, or you can do it by Bluetooth um, using the web page as an e easier sort of management sort of thing. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over this in a separate video because um, it's interesting because, yes, I got my this radio to transmit and receive on GMRS. It's not supposed to, from what my understanding is. Now, this is probably going to be fixed by either a software a software patch, um, probably by TID Radio. Um, but you can still get around it. Um, you can actually do it directly from the, the radio itself. Um, now, I'm guessing the only way they're going to be able to patch the radio is if they put out a new firmware for it. So, anyway, you can program the TID H3, sorry, TD H3 ham radio using Chirp. And it's this radio with its functionality, how it's used, and its power output, and all that sort of stuff, which will be covered in other videos is creeping its way up to the top of my favorite radio at the minute and its size its size it's actually okay i'll do that one briefly here here is a uv 5 rt from a long time ago i'm going to zoom the zoom the video out a bit so forgive me for having I mean, let's do it like that so yeah as you can see the um this scroll out a bit so so as you can see it is a tiny bit smaller than the um 5rt and it is a little bit thinner but mind you the 5rt on this example has its uh, belt clip on so that's not really a good one um so as you can see it is smaller than the uv5 rt which is one of my oldest radios and still going strong yes it's still going strong it's still a bow fang and it's one of the few of my radio in my radio collection that actually holds its charge it can hold its charge for months and months and months i believe one of the times i tried i hadn't used that radio for over a year i turned it on and it still worked and the battery had only dropped by one bar and I used it for well over two days before it decided to start warning me about with a flashing light icon indicating it's gone. And <laughs> just for another size comparison, this is it against the UV25. This huge mega thing. I mean, look at that. I'll be doing a review on that radio and the UV25 at a later date, but look at the size difference. That's unbelievable. Anyway, that was... A brief video on programming the TID Radio H3 ham version. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope that helps you guys with the decisions. As I say, I've still got a few more radio videos to do on this radio. Uh, so please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to help the channel, um, please go use the um, affiliate link in the, in the description and uh, order one. Or... Yeah, just order one using my affiliate link and that would help out the channel a lot. Okay, thank you very much guys and I'll speak to you all soon. Seven threes.